morning, Hornet. I'm Annie, along with Sammy and Maria, with today's morning announcements. Today is May 7th, and on this day in 1902, Martinique Mount Pele begins the deadliest volcanic eruption of the 20th century. This is coincidental because people of Hawaii are currently being evacuated from the eruption of Mount Kilauea. Over two dozen homes have been destroyed, and thousands of people have displaced. Over 200 earthquakes have accompanied this eruption. Attention sophomores and juniors, we are starting to prepare for class elections. You are encouraged to pick up petitions by Friday, May 11th, immediately after school in Mrs. Pellegrini's office. The positions open are President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, Historian, and Student Senate representatives and officers. Make a difference, get involved! Here's another way to get involved. Attention all sophomores and juniors interested in being a peer mentor next year. Applications are available in front of Ms. Vigilante's office in Guidance or Ms. Morris's office, room 140. Applications are due no later than May 17th. Save the date. On May 18th, Movie Under the Stars is scheduled from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. on the PV football field. The scheduled movie is Coco. Speaking of dates, prom tickets will be sold May 7th through May 10th in the senior calf after school. Prom tickets will only be sold with a signed permission slip uh, slips can be found on the senior bulletin board, main office, or email. The deadline for prom tickets is May 10th, so if you plan on asking me, hurry up. Do you like watching the announcements and everything PVTV brings to you? Then come show your support at California Pizza Kitchen on May 9th from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. May 7th to May 11th is National Teacher Appreciation Week. The Future Educator, Educators of America are sponsoring free Apple grams during all lunch periods from Monday to Thursday. Members of FEA will be walking around the CAF. Take a minute to write your teachers a note, letting them know how much you appreciate them. You can also stop by room 22 to file out some apples. Remember, it's free. If you have any questions, please see Dr. Yopes or Brian Lewis. In other art-related news, I'd like to introduce to you the art show poster. If you would like one for your classroom or office, please let Ms. Ingram know. The art department started screen printing them yesterday and will continue through next week. The academic team will hold a meeting in room 214 on Wednesday, May 9th, before school at 7.40 and after school at 2.40. Please attend one of these meetings as the voting for next year's captains will take place. Before we go to sports, a special congratulations to Katherine Bennett, who scored her 100th goal in the lacrosse this Friday against West Milford. She is the second player in history to achieve this milestone since we started the program in 2009. She still has many games left to add to this great achievement. And now to Justin with sports. Thanks. Thanks, Sammy. It's nice to be back. But first, let's talk about Friday. Baseball beat Park Ridge 10 to 6, and the boys tennis team fell short 2 to 3 to Wayne Hills. But on Saturday, the boys lacrosse team fell short in a back and forth game 12 to 9 against Clifton. Though the baseball team really came through, beating Sag Tech, the second seed in county. Great job, Hornets. Today on the schedule, the tennis team will verse Wayne Hills. Volleyball is away against Patterson Kennedy, and baseball is away against. Passaic. And lastly, softball is away against Patterson Kennedy. That's it for sports. Now back to Sammy with the weather. Thanks, Justin. Starting today with a high of 87 and a low of 56. That's the buzz. Have a great day, Hornet.